Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another MLG Top 5. I'm Chris Puckett, counting down your top five plays from the Halo Master Chief Collection Week 1. Here at number five, playing Halo 2 Anniversary, it's Ryle, the environmentalist. Look at this move. Nade bouncing perfectly off of BR3, hits that ceiling. Not one, he picks up two there with the boulder dash. Moving on now to number four, Upstart H2, locking down the map on lockdown with the T2 combo. He's got the shoddy and the sniper on a killing frenzy already going to work. Picks up the triple, snipe comes out, and it's the Blaine train picking up two for the overkill kill tacular. At number three, Halo 2 Anniversary again with a Kree Warrior, the ninja assassination in this play, ridiculous on Warlock, picks up the jump. And there you go, here on Warlord, we got a Warlord of our own from a Kree Warrior, but at number two, it's Halo 4, Insurpassable Z, with that flag defense. Look at this play, incredible stuff on dispatch. Pulls out the sniper rifle, flag stop, inches short, a second kill, line them up for the collateral overkill and get the return. At number one though this week, this play goes to Crazy Miller Boys for his play on the old school Ascension, now called Zenith and Halo 2 Anniversary. Crazy Miller Boys locking down the top sniper tower Missing his melee, but getting the stick, survives, dropping down. No shield, no problem, no scope for the triple, and he's not done yet. Finds a fourth overkill with the Banshee support. Everyone looking up top, he's gonna blame him down low. Kill Trocity into the Kilimanjaro at this week's number one spot. If you wanna be featured in my next top five, submit your plays now, mlg.tv slash submit.